Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the convolution of signals using Laplace transform. That is, we are going to look at. So, in this example, we are going to consider the following signals x1 of t is e power minus a t u of t and x2 of t is e power minus b t u of t. So, given these two continuous signals, we want to find their convolution output or the convolution uh, integral. So, to solve this problem, we are going to require the following property of the Laplace transform. So, the required property of Laplace transform is translation in S plane that is Laplace transform of e power a t f of t is equal to capital F of S minus a. So, given that uh, f of t as a Laplace transform f of s then the Laplace transform of the, of the product e power a t f of t is f of s minus a that is the Laplace transform is shifted or translated by a value a. So, we are going to use this property for solving this problem. So, the step 1 for finding the convolution of these two signals is first we have to convert these two time domain signals into Laplace domain or S plane. That is first we find x1 of S which is the Laplace transform of x1 of t and x1 of t is nothing but e power minus a t u of t e power minus a t u of t. So, Laplace transform of e power minus a t u of t by using this property is going to be simply uh, f of s plus a where f of s is the Laplace transform of u of t. So, recall that the Laplace transform of u of t is going to be is actually equal to 1 by s. So, recall that the Laplace transform of u of t that is the unit step signal is 1 by s. So, the Laplace transform of e power minus a t u of t will be 1 by s plus a. Therefore, x 1 of s is the translated version of this one 1 by s plus a. Similarly, we can find x 2 of s which is going to be the Laplace transform of x 2 of t x 2 of t which is Laplace transform of e power minus b t u of t. So, by following a similar method as in uh, this part or uh, as in the calculation of x 1 of s. So, x 2 of s will be equal to simply 1 by s plus b. So, x 1 of s is 1 by s plus a x 2 of s is 1 by s plus b. Now, step 2 that is we have to find the product of these two Laplace transform that is x of s is x 1 of s multiplied by x 2 of s. Therefore, x of s is 1 by s plus a into 1 by s plus b which is going to be simply 1 by s plus a into s plus b. Third point that is step 3 we have to find x of t x of t is equal to convolution of x 1 of t with x 2 of t. So, by using the Laplace transform method x of t is basically equal to inverse Laplace transform of x of s. That means x of t is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a into s plus b. So, we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function that is 1 by s plus a into s plus b. So, so obviously, the next step is to write this function using partial fractions or now the next step is to rewrite this function that is 1 by s plus a into s plus b which is basically a ratio of polynomials uh, as partial fractions that is we apply partial fractions on this function. So, it is written as a by s plus a plus b by s plus b. We can find the values of a and b as follows. So, by comparing the coefficients of s on both sides we have a plus b equal to 0 and by comparing the constant. So, initially we compared the coefficients of s which are going to be a plus b equal to 0 and now comparing the constants we can see that capital A into small b plus capital B into small a is equal to 1. Now, by solving these two equations we can clearly see that a is equal to 1 by b minus a and b is equal to minus 1 by b minus a. Therefore, 
x of t is going to be inverse Laplace transform of 1 by b minus a into 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b. Now, from step 1, we already know that uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a will be e power minus a t into u of t. And similarly, inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus b is e power minus b t u of t. Therefore, x of t is equal to 1 by b minus a which is basically a constant and then inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a which is e power minus a t u of t and for this one it is e power minus b t u of t that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus b is e power minus b t u of t. Therefore, the convolution integral that is output of the convolution of uh, x1 of t and x2 of, x2 of t is 1 by b minus a e power minus a t minus e power minus b t into u of t. So, to summarize uh, we have looked at the convolution of two signals using the Laplace transform. So, in this example we have two signals x1 of t and x2 of t. x1 of t is assumed to be e power minus a t u of t. x2 of t is e power minus b t u of t. So, this problem is basically based on the convolution property of the Laplace transform that is uh, the convolution of two signals in time domain is equivalent to uh, multiplication of the uh, Laplace transforms in the S plane. So, uh, for this solving this convolution problem there are three steps. So, in step 1 we find the Laplace transform of the Laplace transforms of the two signals. So, for a x1 of t equal to e power minus a t u of t x1 of s is 1 by s plus a by using the translation in S plane property of Laplace transform. Similarly, x2 of s is 1 by s plus b and now in step 2 we multiply these two Laplace transforms. So, x of s is basically x1 of s into x2 of s. So, which is 1 by s plus a into s plus b. Now, in the final step uh, x of t is basically which is the convolution of the two signals can also be found to be inverse Laplace transform of the product that is x of s. So, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a into s plus b uh, can be determined by using the method of partial fractions. So, in this case we found that x of t is going to be lap inverse Laplace transform of 1 by b minus a into 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b. And, and based on the step 1, we can clearly see that the inverse Laplace transform of this linear combination is 1 by b minus a into e power into e power minus a t u of t minus e power minus b t u of t. So, finally, the convolution integral or output of x 1 of t convolved with x 2 of t is x of t which is 1 by b minus a into e power minus a t minus e power minus b t into u of t. Thanks for watching.